Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT, Yo. you got another one for me this week. I do, man. Uh, so recently, a uh, 76-year-old man in Kentucky. Basically che- me. Checked into, an, <laughs> checked into a, an Econo Lodge. Have you ever stayed in an Econo Lodge? I have not. What is, is that like a hotel or is that a motel? It's a chain. A moat. Mm, borderline. Okay. Uh, kind of seedy in nature feeling. Kinda. It's not. Eh, it's. I'd say it's a motel. I would say it's a motel. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, I'm. I'm not really a motel goer. I have been to a motel though. Me too. She paid for it too. Oh it was lord. Nice time. It was a good I mean, time. but I've stayed at like a like because there's like Motel Six and stuff. So like, it's just a lot of times. It's just like a. It's more of like a God. very low end. You know. What what would you say the difference between a motel and a hotel is? I should have married that girl. I'm sorry, what? Because she took you to a motel and nah, paid. Dude, I was just I was having like flashbacks, man. You don't even know. Yeah. That was that was a keeper. I should have married her. I'm sorry. What was the question What's again? What's the difference between a motel and a hotel to you? <laughs> uh motel. When I think motel, I usually think like the doors are open to air to get into it. Doors open to the outside. Yeah. Um usually I think of like two stories maximum, like the all the stairwells are on the outside. The ice machine is in like a little like a little mini alley on the first floor where there's like vending machines. I also picture, you know, just like people going there to use drugs. Uh I I always think of a bad neighborhood. That's when I think motel. When I think hotel, I think like holiday in like i think the there's like a, a hotel you know like just at a regular the end of the road yeah and then like what is, is but isn't they like uh embassy suites isn't that a motel or a hotel as well yeah i like yeah what i think of is like a motel is like a room to stay in and a hotel is an experience okay you okay. know what i mean that's like, fair that's fair like Big i think picture, hotels I have you. amenities i mean but motels have pools and stuff sometimes too Bro, but i'm like, not getting in that pool you don't get into a motel i'll get into a hotel pool a motel pool never never either way um look court documents from the loss oh sorry there's a lawsuit but uh alex cronus checked into an econo lodge in erlanger kentucky um the next morning he turned on a shower and was immediately struck by extremely hot water that knocked him to the floor. While the water continued to burn him, the two people who were in the motel with him heard his screams and removed him from the tub. He uh, he had deep tissue, second degree and third degree burns from the scalding water and succumbed to his injuries. So he got burned so bad from the water in the shower that he died? Yes, the family is seeking two, or they were awarded $2 million dollars uh, for the death, 150 degree water shot out of the, as soon as he turned it on. So it went from, so basically as soon as, it sounds like our sink. <laughs> it takes a little bit for our sink to get there. It it can get there. It can get to scalding like I, dangerous. I temperatured it. it was, I don't remember what I told you, but it was like 160 degrees or something. Like yeah. it was real hot. We've gotten up there, but yeah. it takes a little while. Yeah. You're not while. like, like, but here. Okay. But oh, to imagine, what? it would be awful. Yeah. But, but here, I mean, haven't you ever turned the shower on too hot and you're like, oh, sh-, and you like turn it off, move, get yeah. out? Yeah. Have you ever been a 76 year old man? Not yet. Okay, then. Probably never <laughs> will because I'm about to. Never mind. Okay, then. So I don't know. Like I say, 76 year old man. He gets in the shower, turns it on, probably expecting like lukewarm, maybe room temperature water turned on hot water alone. Got blasted with 150 degree heat. It knocks him to the floor naturally because your first instinct is get the hell out of there. Horrific, man. Absolutely horrific. horrific. Like third degree burns on your body. Your last experience is taking a shower at a a cheap seedy motel. Bruh. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. So $2 million. Is that enough? (laughs) <laughs> Would you I, give up a family member for $2 million? Let me just give you a visual here. Jonas did that thing with your mouth where, like, you're thinking about something. You do that kind of, like, frowny thing and your eyebrows go up. He did that. He was like, hmm. <laughs> Granddad's dead, but. 
<laughs> you lived a good life. <laughs> Paul Paul's gone, but <laughs> you sicko. <laughs> <laughs> Would you give up a family member for $2 million? No, not at all. Not even all. your least favorite one? Yes, them, but not, no. <laughs> not Papa. Not Papa. What if Papa was a jerk? I don't, we don't, we're not going to put that on Papa's jacket. What if he was an angel? All right, there hey, you go. You he's give an me, angel now. You want to give me one extreme, I'll give you the other one, because both are valid. You're not wrong. Amen. No, man, that would be, that would, I mean, just dying by burning, like, any sort of burning death is the worst. Yeah. Or maybe, I mean, drowning would be bad, too. Yeah. I, like, I would hate to go out in a painful way, but if I could go out in a way that earned my family and loved ones a bunch of money, that's the way I would like to go out. You think Papa's glad that he went out that way so they get rich? At, look, I'm not going to say that he's glad he went out that way because no, I'm sure he would probably rather be alive um, and with his family. But what I will say is that at 76 years old, I don't want to say that's a good run because he had many more years that he, he potentially could have brought happiness to those around him. But it's it's not a bad run. It's not a good run, but it's not yeah, a it bad like run. 40. Yeah, I mean, look at the, 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 the American lifespan currently ain't the best, man. Yeah, so I mean, there's Papa. lots and lots of people that don't live to 76. Yeah, and like I say, if I were, if I have to, if the if I'm being called up, if the good Lord in heaven has called me up, if it's my time, final destination creatures decided to take me out no matter what, I would like to go out in a way that is going to get painful, painless, painless way that it's going to get my family paid. That would be great. Yes, I mean, but 100%. I'm sure that wasn't painless. Yeah, I don't like I don't miserable for the last like. Yeah, I don't want to go out like he went out, man. I want to go out painlessly. I want to just like sleep and oh, I'll wake up dead. Yeah. That's Go to bed, wake up dead. Yeah. yeah, I feel you. And then my family gets paid because Serta fucked up. Because Serta just <laughs> engulfed you. Sealy posturepedic yeah, made a just had one miscalculation. Of yeah, they had one of them demon mouth beds that just <laughs> swallowed you whole. God Pur damn it! Purple I'm, mattress just couldn't get the, the formula right. The you. He just opened up and just hamburglered you to death. There you go. Sounds legit. I mean, look. Um. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm sure. Like. You know, losing a loved one is hard, but like, if it, like I, I have, like, if they're like, here's a $2 million check, I'm sure they feel <laughs> a little bit, it, that helps console them a little bit. It is kind of insane to me that the status quo for the American justice system is something happens to you that takes away your faculties. Like we've had, we've had friends who have had family members who have been in like accidents where they lose their ability to walk or they lose like use of certain use, use of yeah, certain parts you get, of their you body. Get disabled. And yeah. then they're awarded like these large sums of money. It is like, it is so insane to me is that we are basically putting a price tag on these abilities, on these people's lives to a certain extent. And, and at the end of it, if the family walks away happy or if the person who was wrong walks away happy, it's like they they basically said, yeah, my, my right arm was worth uh, th two million bucks or my my grandfather's life was worth that two million dollars. Now, I'm sure they probably would have wanted more. I'm sure the family probably was looking for more, but it's got to be rule. And it's it's sick that we have a person, a mediator, sitting there saying, "Is that how no, much your is granddad grandpa, isn't worth? How much is Pop Pop's life worth? Yeah, your grand your granddad's not worth five million dollars. All right, <laughs> we'll give them the we'll two. give you one, and they're like, look, Pop Pop was ever four. Bro, like they had a negotiation nuts. about how much Pop Pop's pain and suffering was worth. Bro, I would be sitting on heaven in my cloud, looking down at you motherfuckers like you are lowballing the hell out of my life man you i would know. like make it piss rain and is it not crazy that if you were like if you were like a celebrity or if you were like a a, a doctor or a philanthropist or somebody with like some some sort of import that your price would go up is that not insane yeah. so your value is literally who the, you are is who you are. That's so insane to me. Now that's the real thing that we should be taking away from this is that you all got a price. Yeah, if I if I die, they're giving you five bucks. Uh, you get a couple million. You still a life, man. 
if a 76 year old man is going to get two million dollars i figure you you're gonna get like at least a third of that I mean, <laughs> like i mean a third more uh like like another mil like, like another 75 75 2.75 750 000. oof yeah that sounds steep for me that's though. close to three i think something Yee. all right i don't know anyways that's all the time we have this episode please make sure to go to the crazytown.com and subscribe for jonas tnt uh we out uh